All right, hi everybody, this is Jim. Today we're going to talk about the Dolica Travel Tripod. First of all, it folds up into a size that's only 14 inches long. Comes with a nice uh, carrying case, can fit right in your suitcase if you want. Easy to carry on your back. The way you set it up is you extend the uh, legs around, they fold back on themselves. Push in the catches. And it's got a five section, these are aluminum legs. The last one's a little bit small, and one of the complaints is they'll come out. And uh, that's true, they will come out. And once they come out, you lose that plastic piece, it's gone forever. I did that one time, but now that I know to be careful, it's not happened again. So, luckily that came out on my leg with the uh, foam handheld. Another nice feature, so when it's cold weather and you're going to carry around the tripod, you don't have to freeze your hands on freezing cold aluminum. So, some things I like about this tripod, uh, besides its small size, it only weighs two and a half pounds. It's very light, but it can hold 15 pounds up here. And that's big enough for my Nikon 80-400 zoom lens on my D610 Nikon camera. Uh, that combination is right around, let's say somewhere between eight and nine pounds. Fits up there very nice. And another thing I like is on the bottom, if you can see this, I'll get up a little closer. It has a little, a little hook that comes down and you can hang your camera bag on there to give it some extra stability. So if it's windy out, and you're blowing around, the uh, wind is blowing around, you can get a little extra weight on your camera bag. Now when it extends all the way up, it's about 56 inches. For me, that's a little bit low, because the eyepiece on my camera would be here, which means I've got to stoop down. And I don't like to stoop down. My knees are going out, my back is killing me, my hips hurt, so I would wish this to be a little bit taller. It does come with its own ball head as you can see. Nice feature about that is it's got a uh, a scale on there so when as I turn it around it'll tell me how many degrees I've rotated. That's useful for doing panorama. And I can tighten that up right there and as long as I've got these post tightened this is not going to go anywhere. The ball head here is adjusted by this knob and it can go over to 90 degrees, so if you want to take a vertical uh, photo, you can. One thing I don't like about it, and maybe you can see this if I bring it a little closer, is this rubber ring does twist on the knob, so you've got to be careful to get it really tight if you don't want that to be moving around as you touch your camera. So that's one of the things that I don't like about it. So a few things I like, short length, Lightweight, can hold my camera. It's not the stablest when I've got the two columns up. So I would tend to use it down and either look in my live view or bend over to look through the viewfinder. I don't like that so much, but it does make it a little bit more stable. It's got a three position leg. So I can go almost out to uh, horizontal if I want. That allows me to get down to right around 12 and a half inches above the ground for shooting those low shots. Um, otherwise, 54 inches with the columns up, about 46 with the columns down like that. It's $67 at Adorama right now. I think this is a terrific buy. It's not going to be a world beater. It's not really a pro level tripod, but if you need something for just taking with you when you go traveling, I think this would do fine. The uh, lock here is a sliding lock with a safety catch mechanism. I think you can see that. Push that in and then it comes out and then hands free you can bring it back in, tighten it up and it's not going anywhere. This is very sturdy. I like this better than my Monfrotto uh, tripod quick release. Kathy, if you'll hand me the bag I'll show everybody how we put it away and carry it around. Thank you. This is a little bag that comes with it. It also comes with a nice little tool kit, a set of wrenches that you can use to make any adjustments or repairs that you need to do. And 
I find that every tripod from time to time has some screws that need to be tightened. Um, this one has screws in the legs that adjust the uh, tension in the legs. It also has some set screws underneath the column here. Well, if you can see under here, and that keeps the ball head from unscrewing itself off. So you need to have a little wrench to handle that. And then to pack it up, twist your twist locks, push your legs in. And then I'll show you, it'll fit right in your carrying case. And you'll be ready to go home. Here's the carrying case. You can see it fits right in there. Put it over your shoulder and you're ready to go. Ta-ta!